random responses. So you say a command like 50% and it comes back with 50% uh, or it comes back with yes sir 50%. So you want random responses. Okay. So let's begin a new profile for this um, and we'll call this random responses. Okay. Right. What we're going to do here is we're going to put in new command like we normally would and we're going to call it uh, when I say 50% um, I want it to go in the engines, thrusters and drives category and I'm going to just call it 50% order uh, and that'll, that'll do for now, I'll show you why in a second not going to do anything in here just yet, just going to click OK Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, something that this command needs to reference to, needs to be hooked to. I don't want to use the terms that voice attack use because there seems to be a lot of confusion about what are called conditions. Oh, I don't like that word. Um, I'm not going to say it for a little while. But anyway, we're going to call it um, hooking up. We're going to get a command and we're going to hook it up with another command because that's really how I like to set these up. And all will become clear. So we've made the command so that when we say 50%, it doesn't even do anything yet, it doesn't respond, doesn't press a key, nothing. But I've set the command up. Second thing I'm going to set up is something I don't want it to do, which is listen to me. I'm going to do that by using those two brackets. And it shouldn't, you know, this this is so that I can set up um, the hook. Yeah, something for it to refer to. This one I'm going to call 50% like that. Close the brackets. And I'm going to call this... Um, uh, it's going to go into the category random sounds. That's what I'm going to call the category, and this one's going to be the uh, the fifty percent, right? Now what I'm going to do is click other, and in this drop-down list, I'm going to go down to set a condition value advanced. Set a condition value advanced. Click that. I want this to have four responses. I know there's four sound files available for it, so I want it to have I want it to have four responses. Um, the condition name for this is random sound variable. All one word. I'm going to right click copy that because I need it afterwards. Uh, it's a random value. I've got four sound files, so from sounds one to four, I'm going to put that in there. Don't ask why, just do it. So, click OK. Now what I'm going to do is click Other, drop down menu, begin a condition block, condition name, right click, paste. This is number one. I'm then going to click Other. Now inside that condition block, I'm going to play a sound. So you go to the drop down menu and click play a sound this time. Scroll to the sound you want for 50%, which is that one. Let's have a quick listen. 50%. Done. And then what I'm going to do is click Other. And I'm going to go down to End the Condition Block. Tick this box. Click OK. Now, I might have done that a bit quick, but I'm going to do four of these, so don't worry. And if you look, I'm just making a bunch of sandwiches, really. So, Begin condition, end condition, in the middle a sound. Begin condition, end condition, in the middle a sound. That's all you need to do. Very, very easy. So let's start the next one. So with the last one highlighted, other, in the drop down menu, begin a condition block, condition name, right click, we'll paste random sound variable in there. This one's number two. Done. Other, inside the sandwich, going to play a sound. This time it's going to be engaging now 50%. What's that sound like? Engaging now. Like. Good. And now we're going to click other, drop down menu, end the condition block, tick the box, click OK. So we've now got two. Other, begin a condition block, random sound variable number three. In the sandwich, play a sound. 
choose the third 50% command going down this list is there another one yeah okay 50% engaged that works does it or are we using that one 50% speed first yep yeah. 50% speed nice okay done now other drop down list end of condition block tick the box done Okay, for the last one, um, beginning condition block. Drop down list, beginning condition block, condition name, random sound variable. This is the last one, which is number four. Click OK. Inside the sandwich, we're going to play a sound from the drop down list. The sound this time is, which one is it? We did that one. I think it's 50% speed. What was the last one? Okay, 50% engaged. So we've got four different ones now. Good. And finally, to drop down menu, end that condition block. This time we're not going to tick the box because it's the last one. Don't ask me why. It doesn't matter. You now know how to how to do this bit. And uh, in a nutshell, that's it. That's that one done. Now what we do, go back to the command we made earlier, which is a spoken command for 50%. We're going to edit that. This time in this one where we've got nothing, we're going to do the key press for, you know, your 50% thrusters or 50% engines or 50% whatever. Click the key press, press the key in the game you use for it. In my case, it's number pad 2. Like that, I'll click OK. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to execute a command, the one that I've just made with all the conditions in it. So let's get it to execute another command. And now when you do that, you'll see that what we made earlier is in that drop-down list. Because the brackets for it mean it's a command, so it's in there. Click OK. That hookup I was talking about is done. That's hooked up to 50% now. So when I click OK and done and say 50%. OK, 50% engaged. 50%. Engaging now, 50%. Oh my word. We've just made our first condition with random responses. Now, all these people that are saying conditions are technically a nuisance and a nightmare, it doesn't have to be. And don't forget, we've already set all of these up for you. So you can either go in and edit them like this. Edit. I think I'll change that sound. Edit. Browse to the sound you want to change it to might release some new ones for 50% who knows and you can just choose them in here click OK and OK and you've edited it and that's how you edit them it's that simple gets a little bit messy when you want to start removing sounds um, or adding sounds but frankly if you want to make it six sounds all right well first of all we've got to change this one from one to four to edit one to five I'm gonna add another sound so um, this end condition block on the last one, we'll edit that, put the tick in like we did with the others, because we never ticked the last one on these, don't know why, not going to ask, but, so we click OK on that one, we just carry on now, other, begin condition block, condition name, random sound variable, clearly we know it's number five, then, other, drop down list, play a sound let's browse to the sound what have we got here um, understood 50% there we are oh, understood 50% nice click OK uh, we need to end that condition block now drop down menu end condition block oh no we don't tick the last one there we are done 50% Engaging now, 50%. Yeah, works, it's fine. So, just remember, if you go to the profile that we've made already, the, uh, let me just find that for you, uh, that one there, and we click edit, you'll see an entire bunch of the ones in random sounds that I've already done for you. I'm sure you'll be very pleased about that. Um, so, if we look at these, they're just the same except for the end condition part. I never put a tick box in those. 
I'm not here to explain the technicalities behind all of that. I'm here to really try and simplify everything, you know, just to make it easier for you so that you can just enjoy the pack even more. Beauty of the conditions and the ones we've made for you. Unlike a TTS, text-to-speech, with what we're doing and sound files, you can have more than one voice, whereas with text-to-speech, you'll find that rather difficult. 